welcome to the series of the Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023, organized by the EMC Foundation in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Evo Krama with support from ExxonMobil Foundation. Today we have two very good schools from West Dem. We have on one hand Esikobo Island Secondary going up against West Demerara Secondary. And let's meet our main players, our main actors in this particular quiz. Let's go across to Esikobo Island Secondary and have them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Yamona Shonandan. I attend Esikobo Island Secondary School and I am in Form 1. Hello, my name is Tanisha Fasad. The school I attend is Eskibo Island Secondary and I am in Form 1. Hi, my name is Kunal Hakram. I am from Eskibo Island Secondary and I attend Form 1. Yamona, Tanisha and Kunal from Eskibo Island Secondary. And across the way but closer to Georgetown West Demerara Secondary, let's have them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Carolina Benfield. I attend West Demora Secondary and I am Farm 1. Hello, I am Dustin Gavaya. I am from West Dem Secondary and I am in Farm 1. Hi, my name is Cassia Carroll. I attend West Demora Secondary School and I am in Farm 1. There you have them, Carolina, Dadson and Cassia from West Demora Secondary. All very pleasant looking students and now we get straight into the competition for those of you who've been following us you know how this goes I will ask a question of Esikobo Islands first their first player Yamona if she gets it correctly she gets five points if she doesn't then Kalina gets a chance to steal the only time we ever encourage stealing um, to get three points as a rebound question and then we go across to West Dem for their first question Here's your first question, Yamona. Ten seconds in which to answer it, but you can answer it before ten, once you have the answer. What is the energy generated from the sun called? So what name do we give to the energy generated from the sun? Solar energy. Solar energy or solar power will work for five points. And Kalina, an equally simple one, almost a matching one. What do we call energy generating from water? What is energy generated from water called? We call it hydro energy. Hydro energy or hydropower would work for five points. <laughs> now the competition deals with the environment, it deals with LCDS, it deals with all kinds of things like that, but general knowledge as well. So, here's a general knowledge question for Tanisha from Esikobo Islands. In which country is the headquarters of CARICOM located? In which country is the headquarters of CARICOM located? Ten seconds. Sorry, that's time. Let's go over to Datsun. Guyana. Guyana, of course, for three points. I suspect, folks, that was a little bit of a guess. Right, Edson? No? Okay, he knew it. Yes, it's a Turkai, the headquarters of CARICOM. So they steal there, but uh, now, Datsun, you get your own question. What does CARICOM mean? Give me the full name for CARICOM. CARICOM means Caribbean community. Caribbean or Caribbean community for five points. Okay, and we're going, moving along quite quickly. Kunal, here's your question. In which year was the first draft of the LCDS published? In which year was the first draft of the LCDS published? 2008. 2008, sorry, that's not right. Cassia. 2010. 2010, not right. 2009, right? So nobody gets any points for that one. Let's go to Cassia now for your question. Cassia, 
the revised LCDS because they did that and they revised it, the one from 2009, and it goes up to a certain year. I want you to give me that year that the revised LCDS goes to. In 2013? Say that again. 2013? 2030 is correct. Four, five points. Okay, well that has very quickly brought us down to the end of, of our first round of questions. We will take a short break and then we'll come back with round two of this contest, the Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023. It's between Essequibo Island Secondary and West Demerara Secondary. Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023 is organized by the EMC Foundation in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Iwakurama International Center. It involves 16 secondary schools from across the 10 regions of Guyana, testing their knowledge in areas such as the environment, social studies and current affairs. It aims to inform, educate and entertain. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're into our second segment of competition. This competition is between Essequibo Island Secondary School and West Demerara Secondary. Uh, Essequibo Islands, I'm, I'm told, used to be called San Susi Secondary, but they've changed their name. They've gone up in life. And they are located on the island of Wicana, a beautiful island. I've visited there already. Can't, exp can't give you any secrets of what we did. Um, but it, it's a wonderful island, uh, Wakenham. So they come from Wakenham. West Demerara Secondary, of course, come from the bank, West Bank of Demerara. So let's get back into our segment two, team question. What I do is I give a question to Essequibo Island. They get 10 seconds to consult among themselves, and then the first player on the Essequibo Island team will give me the answer and then we move across to the next side and so we go down the table. So let's get into our team question. The first team question is for Essequibo Islands and here's the question. Explain in a simple way what is global warming. Explain in a simple way, your own way, and I will rule on it. Um, what is global warming? Ten seconds starting now. That's the 10 seconds, so everybody comes come back to the table, and we'll go to Yamona. Yamona, what's your answer to that question? Global what, is, what is global warming? Global warming is the average increase in the Earth's temperature. Meaning what? Meaning the Earth is getting warmer. Good enough for five points. <laughs> what we will do from time to time, of course, because that sounded very much like a quote from the booklet that EMC sent out. We want to make sure that the kids understand what it is they are reading. And she does. We're getting warmer. That's all it means. And it's good in some ways, but not so good in many other ways. So, that's our question for West Demerara Secondary. Name two possible negative consequences of global warming. Two possible negative consequences of global warming. Ten seconds. All right, that's time. So, I will get that answer from Kalina. Two uh, consequences or results of global warming. Volcanic eruptions and natural fires. Uh, you have to explain some more there. Oh, well, the volcanic eruptions, that is um, a natural cause of global warming. So, that... No, 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 no. The question was, what does global warming result in? 
two consequences, not what causes global warming. No Sorry, you should have had that answer. Yamona. Um, increase in rising sea levels and the reducing of ice caps. Well, rising sea levels and uh, in the uh, melting of the ice cap, that's pretty much one because that's why the levels are going up. So you still owe me one more. Drought. Drought. Yeah, that would work for three points. Yeah, so rising sea level means you can, you'll get floods. And, of course, droughts as well. It's the opposite that happens there. All right, so we're going now to um, Essekobo Island Secondary. And, and this is why you have to listen carefully to the question, right? so that you, you understand what it means. If you don't understand, ask me, I'll explain. Uh, the, this is going to Essekobo Islands. It's going, uh, it's, I'll get the answer from Tanisha once you've consulted. What is the legal age of voting in Guyana? What is the legal age of voting in Guyana? 10 seconds. Okay, well, they're back, so they didn't need their 10 seconds. Let's hear from Tanisha. 18 years? 18 years would be correct for five points. Good. And now we're going across to Datsun from West Amarora Secondary. How many members of Parliament? Um, and this is West Amarora. You'll, you'll get to consult. How many members of Parliament are there? How many members of parliament in total, government and opposition, are there? I need a number. Ten seconds. That's ten seconds. That's it. The answer. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine is not correct. Tanisha. 65? 65 is correct. Three it is 65. Let's go back to Essekobo Islands, and this, is, uh, this answer will be given by Kunal, but you get to consult. What's the name of the bridge that connects Guyana to Brazil? There's a big international bridge, hold on, that connects... Guyana to Brazil, I want you to give me the name. Ten seconds. Okay, that's time. Uh, so I'm getting this answer from Kunal from Escoba Island Secondary. The Takatu Bridge. The Takatu Bridge would be correct for five points. Any of you ever went up to, uh, you know which, which region it is, it's in Region 9, of course. Anybody ever went to the Takatu Bridge? No, not as yet. Lovely bridge, big bridge. All right. Well, West Ham, here's your question. Cassie will give me the answer. What separates Guyana, what physically separates Guyana from Suriname? I want you to tell me what physically separates Guyana from Suriname. Ten seconds, consult. Range, not at all. That wouldn't work. Kuna. The Quarantine River. The Quarantine River for three points. If I had said which river, you'd have gotten it right away. But that's the border between Guyana and Suriname, the Quarantine River. 
And that has brought us down to, end, to the end of all our questions for our team segment of the competition. You are listening to the Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023. We'll come back just now with Section 3 or Segment 3 of this competition with Essex Islands and West Demerara Secondary going up for a place in Round 2 of the competition. The Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023 is organized by the EMC Foundation in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Ewakrama International Center. It involves 16 secondary schools from across the 10 regions of Guyana, testing their knowledge in areas such as the environment, social studies and current affairs of Guyana. It aims to inform, educate and entertain. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're into our final segment or getting into our final segment. But before we do that, we want to thank our scorers. We have two teachers, one from Essico Island and one from West Dam. And of course, our partner from the Ministry of Education represented here as well. So let's introduce them to you. Uh, first of all, we have Miss Cynthia France from West Demerara Secondary. Um, uh, in the center there is Miss Felicia uh, De Souza, from an official from the Ministry of Education, and our male teacher Mohanda Suraj Paul from Essequibo Islands Secondary. Good. Now the score. This is the update that they gave me. You notice we've got the two teachers from the two schools and the ministry in the center as referee. So we can't get the score wrong. She will verify. Okay, so West Demerara Secondary, after two rounds of competition, they have 18 points. Essequibo Island Secondary, they have 29 points. So they are a bit ahead, but hold on, anything can happen. Because if they lose a question and the other side pick it up, and so on and so forth. Because that's what happened in the second round. In the first round, I have a feeling that West Ham was, a, was ahead. And then in the second round, Essequibo Islands came out ahead. So anything can happen in this final segment. We'll go back to Essequibo Islands Secondary. Uh, and this is, these are individual questions now. No consultation, no talking. I'll ask Yamona. Yamona gives me the answer within te 10 seconds or before. Here's the question. The, name the monument that commemorates five sugar workers who were killed whilst protesting harsh conditions back in when we were British Guyana. I want you to give me the name of the monument that commemorates the five sugar workers killed during the protest there. This is for you, Mona. Ten the, seconds. The, the, the Diamonds Monument. No, that is not correct. Kalina. The 1823 Monument. No, that's not correct. The Enmore Martyrs Monument. It happened at Enmore Estate, and that's why the monument was set up there. So nobody gets any points for that one. Now we go to Kalina. In which month of the year do we celebrate education in Guyana? Give me the month of the year in which we celebrate education in Guyana. September. September for five points. <laughs> and now we're going uh, back to uh, Essequibo Islands. I want you to give me the name of the Prime Minister of Guyana. Name the Prime Minister of Guyana. Me? Yes. Honorable Dr. Mark Phillips. <laughs> yeah, Mark, Mark Phillips would work. It's Brigadier Retired um, Honorable PM Mark Phillips for five points. <laughs> and uh, similar type of question, Dadson. I want you to give me the name of the minister uh, responsible for youth in Guyana's parliament, in, in Guyana's cabinet. Minister responsible for youth. Ten seconds. Sorry, no answer there. Tanisha. 
Nothing coming. You have to come right away. That minister is Minister Charles Ranson Jr., Minister of Culture, Youth, and Sports. That's, that's the gentleman. Okay, so nobody gets any points for that. Now we go to Kunal. Kunal, I want you to give me the name of the Central Bank of Guyana. What is the Central Bank of Guyana called? Republic Bank. Republic Bank, not at all. Uh, what about Cassia? No, Cassie, you have to come back right away. It's called the Bank of Guyana. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yes, the Bank of Guyana. Okay, um, this is for Cassie. Name a Muslim religious holiday that is also a national holiday in Guyana. A Muslim religious holiday that's also a national holiday in Guyana. Ten seconds. Yumanabi. Yuman Abbey would work for five points. Good, so that has brought us down to the end of all our questions. I don't know what the score is because some won, some lost and so forth, but I know who does. The scorers do. <laughs> and we'll take a short break and then we'll go to our scorers and come back with the final tally of this matchup between Essequibo Island Secondary and West Amarara Secondary in our, uh, our quiz program. That is our Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023. <laughs> Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023 is organized by the EMC Foundation in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Iwakurama International Center. It involves 16 secondary schools from across the 10 regions of Guyana, testing their knowledge in areas such as the environment, social studies, and current affairs. It aims to inform, educate, and entertain. Welcome back, welcome back. We're into, well, decision time, if you like. Because our scorers, let's just thank them once again for a job well done. Two teachers from the two schools participating, West Demerara and Essequibo Islands. So uh, let's just put them up there. Yep, Miss Cynthia France, that's teacher from West Demerara Secondary. Thank you, Cynthia. Our official from the Ministry of Education, Miss Felicia de Souza, and our teacher from uh, Mohandas, that's Mr. Mohandas Surajpal from Essequibo. Island Secondary School. Big thank you for them. They've all agreed on the final score, so we'll give you that in just a minute. But before we do that, let's just um, uh, remind you of the players in this matchup. First of all, we had on Essequibo Islands, we had our uh, Yomona, Tanisha, and Kunal from Essequibo Islands, and we also had from West Demerara, uh, Kalina. Datsun and Cassia. So a big round of applause for all the students. And I tell you what, nobody goes away empty-handed. Someone will drop off and another, the other school will move on to the next round. But everybody gets a bag, except the quiz master, of course. I'm, 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 I'm putting in representation. Um, but in that bag, it's a school bag, nice school bag, very, very durable. In that bag, educational books from Iwakrama, the Guyana Marine Conservation Society, the Guyana Tourist Authority, EMC Foundation, NARI, and different accessories. Here are these calculators, sets, and stationery. And the students will also get a certificate of participation. So nobody can feel too bad uh, when they leave here. Win or lose. They're getting some good prizes from EMC. EMC, of course, is the main sponsoring agency, but also with the Ministry of Education and Iwo Krama, with support from ExxonMobil Foundation. Now to the score. I know I kept you long enough. So our best players all together, uh, two of them actually, from uh, Essequibo Islands, they both earned 13 points. Our first two players, Yamona and Tanisha, our best players there. 
And now the overall score. It was a good competition, very close. And the final scores, here we go. West Demerara Secondary, 28 points. Essequibo Island Secondary, 34 points. And the winner is... So Essekobo will be moving on to the next round, but a big thank you to the teacher, the entire staff of West Dem for preparing our very bright students from West Dem to come down here at NCN to partic participate in this competition. Robin Diodat inviting you to make sure you join us for another in the series of the Secondary School Environmental Quiz 2023.